Hey, Bubble Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, this video is going to be 20 items that sold fast on eBay. These items sold in 10 days or less. And um, a lot of these items I've been listing over um, on my reseller testing Bolo products channel during my live shows. Um, I'm doing live working hangouts list with me. So it helps keep everybody motivated to list, list, list. And it motivates me as well. But these items have just been moving. So super excited about that. You can definitely learn from the live shows, but you can also get some work done. So come on over and join that channel and subscribe. There's a link down below. All right, you guys, are you ready to see 10 Bolo items that sold fast? Um, so again, this is 10 days or less. I did do a video. I think it was seven days or less, but I decided to do 10 for this one because there were some cool ones. Now. I will say you may see these items in a future what sold video because I did go through my listings to look for these. Um, and I do want to continue to be consistent with my what solds. So this is just like a little special video. All right, you guys, let me know what you think in the comments. We are going to get started here. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it and what it sold for and how many days it took to sell. So that's the, that's the fun part about this video, I think. All right. So the first item is this vintage Disney Mickey Mouse koozie. And I got to be honest with you guys, I was listing this during a live show and, uh, I was kind of like, should I even list this thing? Because I mean, it's, I think it's, I don't know if that's the color it's supposed to be. It's got some scuffs. It's not in great condition. And I just put up here does have condition issues. But you guys, this sold in five days, best offer of $10. The buyer was all in for $17.03. Now it is a hard to find vintage item. So I'm sure that helped. It's kind of got that 3D look to it. But I was shocked that it sold so fast. The next item is this vintage Fisher Price Adventure People Paramedic Woman from 1974. And again, you know, condition is just fair. She's got some scuffs, some marks. She's from the 70s. I mean, she's been played with. And I figured I would sit on her for a while. And she sold for $13 best offer in three days, you guys. The buyer was all in for $19.50. And I got this out of a mystery box from Auctions for You. And there will be a video coming soon of everything that was in that box. The next item, do you guys, if you were at the live show, do you remember these? Um, so Slatkin for Bath and Body Works, Scent Portable. So they hold scents. I dug these out of a mystery box. They have been sitting in my garage for over a year. I really wasn't sure what to think about them. Um, I actually messed up on the quantity. I did not have three available. I built this off of another listing that had four available. So I'm so thankful that I caught my mistake and that this person only bought one because I would have had to uh, message them and be like, Eek, I messed up. But um, this sold in three days. I took a best offer of $9. The buyer was all in for $14.61. The next item is this Fisher Price Little People. And I think everything except the paramedic I have listed during the live shows. This is a Fisher Price Christmas Nativity Shepherd Boy. And he's just a replacement boy. They are dated on the bottom. I do recommend that you put that in the title. I do think people search that. This sold for the full asking price of $12.24. Buyer was all in for $18.58 for this little shepherd boy, you guys. And this sold in two days. The next item um, definitely was at a live show. I had a um, boo-boo, I should say, where I dropped a whole entire bag of stuff onto the floor and I broke something and this was in the bag. So I am so thankful that this did not break because this is definitely a bolo. This is a vintage Holt Howard Japan. Um, it's like a little figurine type deal. I don't know what it's holding there. But um, super, super cute. It's got the little angel wings on the back. And you guys, this sold really quick. It sold um, in three days for full asking price of $75. The buyer was all in for $89.14. Unfortunately, it's been sitting in my garage. I can't remember if this came out of a mystery box or if I got this at a garage sale. 
or maybe a thrift store. I have no idea. This I know came from a garage sale. I paid 50 cents each for these and they sold for the full asking price of $25.20 and the buyer was all in for $32.25 and it sold in 10 days. These are Tales of Glory Bible Story and it's David, Mary, Noah, Moses figures. So they're little toy figures, you guys. The next item that sold also during a live show, because when I pulled it out of the box, it was missing the wings. And I'm like, oh man. And I was like, I'm still going to list it. So I got, I created my listing and then I found the wings. So what I did is I used um, a hot glue gun and I just put a little bit of glue in there and pushed the wings in and it is good as new. Um, I did disclose wings were not attached, broken. I glued them back in. So I was completely honest about what, that it had been repaired. Um, I sold this for full asking price of $21.60 and the buyer was all in for $34.56 and it sold in nine days. You guys, anytime you can pick up Jim Shore, um, definitely do that if you can get it for a good price. Um, if it's priced high, look it up because some of them can go for really big money. This is what it says on the bottom. The next item is this Disney Moana Adventure Canoe Set. It's from 2016, so it is retired. It comes with the three little figures, and you can completely disassemble this thing. So I showed a picture of that as well. This sold um, in nine days for $20, and the buyer was all in for $29.06, and this came out of a mystery box. The next item are these express pants. You guys, I don't show you a lot of clothes, but I've been trying to motivate myself to list clothing. Um, I just need to. I've got so much of it. And these actually sold in six days for $18 best offer. The buyer was all in for $28.03. So this is more just a little pat myself on the back for listing something new and having it sell fast and a little motivation to get those clothes listed. The next item is this My Precious Pets Ponies from 1997 Jasmine Collection. These came from a garage sale. I paid a dollar. This sold for full asking price of $31.50. Uh, the buyer was all in for $39.15 and this sold in 10 days. Okay, here's another one of those scent portable clips. Now this is actually the fragrance unit. And the reason I decided to put this on auction is because I figured it was a new old stock retired scent. And I was hoping that I was going to get a bidding war. I did not get a bidding war, but it did sell for asking price of $9.99 with one bid plus shipping. So the buyer was all in for $16.38 and it was a seven day auction. And this is the same thing as the skunk clip, but this one isn't fancy, but this one actually has the scent inside of it. The next item I sold is this vintage polka dot elf and I sold this for $49.99 and I believe this was either a dollar or two dollars at a garage sale and it sold for uh, total with tax and shipping $59.61 in seven days. I did an auction. Um, if you saw my short, I did a short on this over on my um, Sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel and actually I was doing a live show. And somebody offered me $75 for this, you guys. And I was asking the viewers that were in the chat, I'm like, what should I do? What should I do? And within minutes, they had placed a bid for $49.99. So I was like, oh, maybe they won't pay and I can relist it. So I think I may have undersold this a little bit. But um, either way, still a fantastic profit. But if you ever see these little elves, um, they're called knee huggers. I have not seen one that looks specifically like this. I did see a few when I searched solds, but I've never found one with the polka dots. So I thought it was kind of special. The next item is another one that just was very, very um, surprising. I also did a YouTube short on this one over on my Sourcing with Bola Buddies. So this is a vintage original hand carved wood Santa. Um, it's signed L. Sherman, and I'll show you what it looks like. I don't know if I sold this too low. I I just was shocked because I got offers right away and then somebody placed a bid and then I just kept getting bids and it sold for $79.67 plus shipping. And I listed a whole bunch of Santas during this live show and I have sold so many of those Santas. You guys get that Christmas stuff listed. It is selling. It's selling right now. 
Um, it's just crazy. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. So very, very cool item. The next item that sold, this actually sold three times. So the first time it sold, they didn't pay. They kept telling me they were going to pay. And then I think the same person bought it the second time and they didn't pay. And I think this was a new buyer. So this was held up for so long in like waiting payment. Um, because usually if somebody messages me and says, can I have a little more time? I'm fine with that, you know, but they never paid. So I ended up selling this for a best offer of $40. The buyer was all in for $49.87. This was a seven day, took seven days to sell for the third time. And I think I paid a dollar each for these. And I know I got them at a garage sale. So they're just little Disney store Sleeping Beauty plush, the fairy godmothers. And I was able to research at their names by looking up another listing. And it was Fauna, Flora, and Meriwether. So there you have it. The next item, I knew this was going to be a quick sale. Um, this is Mr. Christmas Silent Night Matchbox. And I talked about these a little bit in uh, the, at the live show. And I showed, I think I showed you guys how, how they work. You actually um, wind them up and they rotate. And I do have a video down in the description to show the buyer how it works and that it works. Um, this item sold for $30, uh, took six days to sell, and they were all in for $38.29. The next item, I was actually a little bit surprised that it sold so quickly. It sold in five days. I got it at a garage sale. I think it was like a buck or two. And I sold this for a best offer of $12. The buyer was all in for $18.64. Uh, I think this is just a vintage reproduction. Uh, I'm not really sure. I Maybe I undersold it. I don't know. But I was happy that it moved quickly. The next item is a great bolo that you might not know about. If mine would have been in better condition, I could have sold it for more. You can see right here um, on this little handle, there's a stress mark. And on the nose, it's missing like a ring. Now, what is good is mine did have this back plastic piece right here. A lot of times those are missing. This sold in five days for $35. The buyer was all in for $44.25. I can't remember where I got this. It was either like a either a thrift store or a garage sale. It's been sitting and sitting and sitting waiting for me to list. I had no idea it was a bolo. But it's a Disney Cars Frank the Combined Harvester from 2005. And it's important to put with Ben. Because again, this piece is typically missing. If you find this piece, you could probably sell it as a replacement piece for probably a pretty good, nice, uh, nice amount. Here's another Jim Shore, you guys. And unfortunately, um, I broke this one when I was, uh, I moved something and I bumped this little tail right here and I did a horrible job of gluing it on. Um, so I just disclosed it. It's the glue. You can see it. Somebody can probably just take it off and fix it themselves. but. I didn't want to lose the piece and I thought I honestly could do a better job. So it sold really quick. And uh, even with the, that I, I disclosed that it was broken and it still sold quick. Sold for $35. The buyer was all in for $41.25 and it sold in five days. And this came out of a mystery box. The next item are these John Deere O-Ball grippers. They are John Deere vehicles, you guys. And they sold for $20. The buyer was all in for $32.65. I picked these up at a garage sale for $2 and they sold in four days. If I remember correctly, I got these at the same garage sale as the little elf. Funny how you remember things like that, right? Um, and this one right here is this Boyd's Bear figurine. And I mentioned to you guys that the Boyd's Bear figurines are harder to sell. But I have sold two on Mercari lately, which is really just random and weird because they were older listings um, and just all of a sudden they sold. This guy I knew was going to do pretty good. He is Halloween themed. Um, he's got the, he's uh, shaped like a candy corn and he's got a trick or treat bag. Halloween in the title probably would have been smart, um, but I didn't do that. If they are Halloween or if they are themed, Boyd's Bears, something that people collect, those are going to sell a little bit better. And that one sold for a best offer of $34. The buyer was all in for $42.13, sold in two days, you guys. And that came out of a mystery box. 
All right, you guys, we are going to stop there. Uh, let me know in the comments if you like this type of video. Um, like items that sold fast because I can keep doing these, hopefully. <laughs> I mean, I've had a lot of items selling fast lately, so pretty excited about that. Again, come over and list with me. Maybe you guys are lucky um, because the stuff that I'm listing at the live shows, it's moving out fast. So uh, yeah, come hang out. Links below. Leave me an emoji of an owl if you made it this far. And again, feedback would be appreciated on this video. And check out another video, you guys. Thanks for watching.